So these are lessons that we have on the second grading. For a while, may na-remove. Saglit na ha. So for the rest of the second grading is part of a research from, um, with the participation of Notre Dame of the Jangas University and the Department of Education. So in other words, daily po ang ating mathematics, araw-araw na po tayo online class for the second grading only. Um, this is for the purpose na makita talaga yung result ng research na gagawin sa inyo. So I know you know what is a research all about. So... Let's begin with our lesson of approximating measurement in module number one. So, na-remove ko po si Umpad. Gichat ko na po siya na magbalik kasi na-remove siya. So, we are now on module one, approximating measurement. So, to begin with, kindly, we will have a pretest game. Kindly open your Google Classroom, answer, answer week one, day one, module one, what I know activity. So, sa inyong Google Classroom po, paki-open. So, ito po na activity week 1, day 1. Okay, we will have a game using a... Google form. So you are given 10 minutes to answer that one. Then you type done if you're done. So your time starts now. Pretest po ito, so okay lang po na mali. Then good thing. Hindi pala marunin yung pagkuhan. Laptop ng gamit.
Five minutes more. You type done if you're done. Okay, apat na po ang natatapos. We have Lucky, Adrian, Sini yung The Eight Gaming, Sebastian, and Trisha. Hannah also. Sino po yan si The Eight Gaming? Sino po yan si The Eight Gaming? John Bert is also done. Kaiser is also done. So, two, four, six, eight. Two more to go. Fiel is done. One more to go. Ah, si Art Louis Ompad. Okay. I think we are now complete. Sampo na po ang natapos. So... Okay, hindi natin naubos ang 10 minutes. So let's proceed now to this. Um, based on the activity on the pretest game that we have, what do you think is our lesson for this day? Type on the chat box. Based on the activity or the pretest game, what do you think is our lesson for this day? Yes, Hannah. That is measurement. Very good. So today, we will be learning measurement. So please copy the title of our lesson, Module 1, Approximating Measurement. Measurement. So please get your notebook and copy the title. Okay, done. So let's proceed now with our lesson. So the first lesson that we have, oh, by the way, we will, we will um, do a game first called the Scrambled Word Game. Then after that one, we will do the 
lesson or lecture discussion. So I know you all already know what our scrambled word are. So these are words that are mixed. The letters are mixed together and you are going to guess the word based on that mixed word. So kindly item your notebook one to number nine for the scrambled word game. So you write the title, scrambled word game, then one, two, three, four, five, hanggang nine. Okay, Franz Ladra is late. So Ladra, kindly get your notebook and write the title, scrambled word game, then one to number nine. Okay, ready na? So you have... 20 seconds per item. So I will be posting the, the scrambled word. Then I will be reading the clue. After that one, you guess the word. So ready. Hannah is ready. So let's begin with the first word. It means to give a particular number to a particular characteristic of a person, an object, or a concept. When measurements are made, they are expressed quantitatively as numbers. So 20 seconds. Guess the word. Do not write the answer on the chat box. Keep it secret, then we will check later. You write your answer in your notebook. And time's up. Okay, next, item number two. It is the term used for identifying the size of an object by the distance from end to end or commonly referred to as the longest dimension of an object. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. Next. Refers to the amount of matter object has while. So when you say amount of matter, we are referring to kung gano siya kabigat. Amount of matter is gano kabigat. Okay, next is number four. It is the gravi gravitational force acting on an object. Ito naman siya, gano siya kabigat, pero merong gravity. Anong tawag nun? Okay, time's up. Number five. It is the amount of space an object occupies on a container. It is considered to be the capacity of the container. Up. Next, 
It is an ongoing and continuous sequence of events taking place in succession from past to the present to the future. Time's up. Okay, next. What's derived from the Latin word, Latin word, angulus, which means corner. It is a figure formed when two rays share a common endpoint called the vertex. Ano yung, ano yung bagay na yun na merong tinatawag na vertex? Time's up. Next. Is the measurement of the degree of hotness or coldness of an object or a substance? Paano yung, anong tawag sa ginamessure na mainit at saka malamig? It's the ratio between two related quantities in different units. Start with letter R. Again, it starts with letter R. Okay, time's up. So, are you ready for the checking? Okay, let's do the checking. What do you think is the first word? Measure. 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 Okay, measurement. Tingnan natin. That is measure. Number two is length. Number three is mass. Check your own paper, be honest. Number four is weight. Number five is volume. Number six is time. Number seven is angle. We have temperature for number eight. And the last item is rate. So show me your score by typing your score on the chat box. Wow. We have perfect scores. Virgil is seven, close to perfect. Sebastian is nine, lucky. And we have Chris Aaron, six of John Bert and Geyser, six, five for Chris Aaron, Trisha is seven, and so on and so forth. So very good, good start. Hindi pa siya naturo, pero meron na kayong sagot. So, can you get your notebook and we will go back to what we have. So, i-discuss na natin siya. Can you get your notebook and copy the important definition and details? So for number one, we have measure. So copy now. When you say measure or measure, measure, sound as Z, measure, measure, it means to give a particular number to a particular characteristic or a person, an object, or a concept. When you describe or define a person or an object in a number, so... You call that one as measure. Kapag i-describe mo daw siya sa pamamagitan ng isang number, ang tawag sa kanya is measure. Example, he is 21 years old. So measure yun siya, measure ng kanyang edad. Another thing, he is 5 uh, inches taller than I am. So 5 inches taller than I am. Ibig sabihin, measure yun siya. So kapag ang isang bagay i-describe mo na gamit ang isang number, tawag sa kanya measure. So, sige daw, i-pronounce nyo daw ang word na measure. 
Go. Measure. Sure. Pag sure. <laughs> Pag sure. Measure. So sometimes it is pronounced also as measure sa atin sa Pilipinas. Pero um, when you look at the dictionary, letter Z talaga siya measure. So let's proceed. Ay, Dan? Dan Kaping? Hindi po po, sir. Okay po. Ready for the next one? Opo, sir. Yes. Next. next is length. So when you say length, from the word long, ibig sabihin siya ang mahaba. It is the term used for identifying the size of an object by the distance from end to end. So kailangan daw pag gimeasure mo ang length end to end or commonly referred to as the longest dimension of an object. Kapag ang isang bagay uh, may longest dimension, ang tawag sa kanya length. For example, yung dalawang sides ng isang box, yung dalawang sides nun, kung sino yung pinakamahaba, yun yung length. Kaya po, pag, pag nag-measure po kayo, tapos ang gimeasure nyo is length at saka width. Kung sino yung pinakamahaba, yun talaga yung length. What if nabaliktad nyo siya, yung length ang inyong nalagay, yung maikli, tapos ang width ang inyong malaki. So mali na po yun. So ganun po yun siya. Length is the longest dimension. Tapi? Okay, let's proceed to number three. Number three is mass. So, mass. Um, kapag ang isang bagay, gikuha natin yung kanyang bigat, pero walang, wala gikonsider ang gravity. Ang tawag sa kanya mass, it refers to the amount of matter an object has a while. For example, uh, kumuha tayo ng inyong uh, bigat, Pero nasa space kayo, nasa labas kayo ng Earth. So doon, zero gravity doon. So therefore, mass ang tawag. Pero naman, pag dito naman sa Earth, since merong gravity, ang tawag sa kanya, weight. Kasi nga sa Earth, merong weight, na merong gravity, so weight ang tawag po natin. So that is the difference between mass and weight. Copy.
Okay, the next one is weight. So, itong weight naman, dapat requirement sa isang weight, merong gravity. So, it is the gravitational force acting on an object. If we are trying to measure um, the, weight, the heaviness of an object with the presence of a gravity, that is called weight. So, 6.8 pong weight ng Earth sa space is zero gravity. So, dito po sa Earth is 6.8. Okay, let's continue for number five. For number five, we have volume. So volume, hindi po yan siya yung sound ng inyong computer or ng inyong TV or ng sound system. When you say volume, it is the amount of space an object occupies. In a container, it is considered to be the capacity of the container. When we are talking about the capacity of the container, tulad ng water container ninyo, yung tubig, tubigan po ninyo, Kung nilalagay niyo na tubig, yun yung po yung tinatawag na volume. Kung ilan po yung capacity ng container na yun, yun po yung tinatawag na volume. Similar to a box, kung ilan po yung magkasya na hangin dyan, ang tawag dyan volume. And volume can be determined using the length times width times height. Okay, let's proceed. For number six, we have time. Time. Time is an ongoing and continuous sequence of events taking place in succession. Pag sinabi mo pang succession, sunod-sunod. Hindi po pwede mag-change ang time. Sunod-sunod talaga yan. Kung ang date ngayon, January 1, hindi pwede mag-January 5 bigla. Ganun po. So, January 1, 2, 3, pasunod talaga yan. From past to the present to the future. Ganun po talaga siya. Meron siyang sinusunod na order. Next, ang time po, ginamessure siya through seconds, minutes, milliseconds, hour, day, week, month, decade, century, and so on and so forth. Okay, may I continue? Next, number seven. So, seven is, ano yan siya? Angle. Yes, that is angle. So, when you say angle, it is derived from the Latin word. It's not Latin, but Latin. Latin word, angulus, which means corner. 
it is figure formed when two rays share a common endpoint called the vertex. So yung dulo po ng isang angle, tinatawag po siyang vertex. And angle can be measured as 45 degrees, 35 degrees, 90 degrees. And sometimes it is called right angle, um, straight line, um, obtuse angle, acute angle, maganon po. Okay, number eight. Number eight is temperature. When you say temperature, or temperature is the measurement of the degree of hotness and coldness. So, of an object or substance. When you are trying to um, measure the hotness or coldness of a substance, you call that one as temperature. Many would read this one as temperature, but it's not. It's temperature temperature so temperature is the measurement of degree of hotness or coldness ano po ang ginagamit para ma-measure ang isang uh, hotness or coldness ng substance tinatawag po yung thermometer thermometer po ang tawag sa pag-measure um nakatry na ba kayo mascan Nung thermal scanner, ang tawag dyan siya. Yung sa mall, thermal scanner. Thermometer yung nilalagay sa dila or sa kilikili. Thermal scanner yung ginapindot. Yung tut! Ganun po. Okay, the last item is rate. Ang rate po is divide. Ibig sabihin po ng rate is divide. So, paano siya naging divide? Paano siya naging divide? So, ganito po. It is the ratio between two related quantities in different units. When you say ratio, you are talking about division between two related quantities. Ano yung related quantities? Narinig nyo na ba itong word na kilometers per hour. Saan niyo po yan naririnig, yung word na yan? Ano yung size, sir, sa road, sir? Yes. Ano po, ano po? Sa road, yung size, sir. Yes. At saka pag nag-drive sa sasakyan, di ba? Anong takbo mo? 90 kilometers per hour. So, ito po yung related na, ito yung rate na related quantities sa ginasabi niya, si kilometer at saka si hour. Tapos, meron siyang over or per na dinatawag, kilometer per hour. Yung per na yan or over na yan, ang, yan yun siya yung divide. Or in other words, natawag na rate. So, kaya siya, rate po ang number nine. So, kilometer per hour, um, meter squared per second, Ganun po. So done. Let's proceed now to um, definition of the following. So um, while, while I'm explaining, I would like you to copy this one. So PAM, silent L po, PAM, the width of one's hand excluding the thumb. So 
Yung kamay po ninyo, yung pagsampal nyo na kamay, galing po sa, dito sa dulo, if you could see it on the monitor, sa dulo ng kamay, papunta sa, sa middle finger dulo. Yan po yung palm. So, ginagamit po yan siya pang measure. Next, hand span. The distance from the tip of the thumb to the tip of the little finger. Ang hand span naman, isang dangkal. Galing dito sa tip ng, ng thumb, kung makita nyo sa video, hanggang sa tip ng maliit na kamay or little finger. So, isang dangkal tawag niyan. Hand span, isang dangkal. Kung maga, parang iway, letter Y nyo ang inyong kamay. Yung middle, ay, yung, yung thumb at saka yung little finger. Hand span po ang tawag niyan. Forearm naman, forearm length, kung galing sa siko, papunta sa dulo ng middle finger. Again, galing sa siko, dito sa siko, sa maitim na siko, papunta sa dulo ng middle finger. So, ang tawag niyan, forearm length. Okay, please copy now. May I continue? Not yet, okay. So ngayon, gagamitin nyo ang inyong palm ang inyong dangkal or handspan at saka forearm para mag-measure ng isang bagay. So, be ready. Gamitin nyo yan siya. For example, magsukat kayo ng uh, envelope. Pagsukat nyo ng envelope, kung palm ang gagamitin tulad nito, sinukat nyo siya ng, ng dalawang ganito, ang isang envelope. So, ang sagot nyo, two, dalawa lang, two. Pero pag... Pag hindi naman umabot ng dalawa, lang isa at kalahati, one and one half. Okay, take note ha, na ang length, ang pinakamalabak, lapad, ang width naman ang pinakamaikli. Okay, similar to this example that I have on the screen. So, naputol po ata. Sige lang. Yang palm po, ang length po ng isang envelope is six, pero pag width niya, four. Oops, tinan nyo ang length is mas malaki kay width. So, pag nabaliktad po siya, big sabihin, malik po kayo. Next, hands, hands pan naman, or isang dangkal, limang dangkal ang envelope, tapos apat na dangkal ang kanyang width. Sa forearm naman, isa sa envelope, isa rin sa kanyang length, isa rin sa kanyang width. 
So, susukatin nyo ano yung susukatin nyo ngayon ang inyong bintana, isang table, isang bintana at saka isang pintuan. Tapos huwag kalimutan mag-selfie kung merong cellphone tapos i-send nyo agad sa ating page sa www.facebook.com/human2021. So, any questions? Okay, wala. Sige, ano na, ako na lang magtanong, ano po ang gagamitin niyo na panukat? Kailangan ba gumamit ng ruler o hindi? Hindi. No. Yes po, hindi po gagamit ng ruler. Anong gagamitin? Yung palm, hand span at saka forearm. Yun yung gagamitin yung device or instrument para pansukat or panukat. So, ano susukatin? Tatlong bagay lang, inyong bintana. Isang lamesa na maliit or kahit malaki na lamesa, okay lang. At saka door. So lahat ba ng side ng door susukatin? Hindi po. Kahit isang side lang po ng door, ng length at saka isang width. Sa table naman, isang length lang at saka isang width. Sa window naman, isang length lang at saka isang width. So meron kayong 10 minutes para matapos. Ay, uh, 15 minutes pala para matapos yan. So time starts now. By the way, bago tayo mag-start pala, isulat yan sa notebook, tapos picture ng inyong sagot, isend sa ating page na www.facebook.com slash humang2021. Start now! Gamitin po yun sa handspan po, sir. Handspan, isang dangkal. Dulo ng maliit na finger. Yung little finger papunta sa thumb. Dulo ng thumb. Kung baga, ipaletter Y mo yung kamay. Pag yun, letter Y mo siya. O, yan yung dulo. Yan, tama-tama yan. Okay. Handspan, sir. Yung sa, yung pangitlo po, sir. Forearm. Yung forearm naman, siko, sa dulo ng siko, papunta sa middle finger. Salamat middle po, finger. sir. Apo. Thank you. 
Plus, instead na 15 minutes, siguro 10 minutes na lang kasi ma medyo malapit na mag-time. So, do it fast. Kasi ano po nga yung palm? Yung palm po, dulo ng, di ba, yung, yung pansampal yung nakamay. Parang ganyan. Dulo dito, papunta sa dulo ng middle finger. Yan po yung palm. Kumbaga, isang sampal ng kamay. Ganun po. Yung pamalo nyo ng lamok. Ganun po ang palm. So, four minutes more. You type done if you're done. Tapos isend agad sa page natin para ma-check ko. Okay lang po, recorded ba na itong class natin? Since wala pa pong natatapos, extend po tayo ng 2 to 3 minutes.
May nakatapos na po ba? Pakitype po ng done if you are kung may natapos na. Huwag kalimutan i-upload po sa ating page. Hindi po antay po ako ng 2 minutes. So we have one done. It's on pad. Sige, on pad, isend mo na sa page. Okay, we have two na nagtatapos. Pag-send na lang po sa page. So, yung hindi pa natatapos, continue nyo lang po. Siguro magkuha lang kayo ng five minutes na oras sa second period, eh, sa third period. And I hope you enjoy our games and our activities as well as the class today. So, goodbye everyone. Thank you and God bless.